Hey, fellow buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, are you ready for a scavenger hunt? So I invited Dumpster Diva, this is her channel right here, to do a scavenger hunt with me. That's where you go into the Goodwill bins and you look for these 12 items. I'm going to pop it up right here. We need a holiday item, any holiday item, a toy, a craft, shoes, something with a battery, a clothing item, accessory you wear, plush, any item that can ship media mail, bag or purse, a linen, and just a plain old weird item. So those are the 12 items that we had to go into the Goodwill bins and find. So I'm going to show you my video. And then I want you to go over to the Dumpster Diva and check out her video. I will link her down below. She is fantastic. Um, she does tons and tons of uh, Goodwill Ben's videos and she is a hoot. You guys are going to love her. Okay, guys, when I go to the Goodwill Ben's, I always get there early. So we are all lined up and walking in. If you don't get there early, you don't get a cart. So I try to mix it up here on my Bolo Buddies channel, but my whole main focus is to teach about items to be on the lookout for, Bolo items, items that you can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Okay, Bella buddy. So I fully went in here today looking for 12 items. The 12 items I talked to you about at the beginning of the video. I have cut out so much footage because to be honest with you, I could not leave with just 12 items. I am a full-time reseller. So this is my job to go into the Goodwill bins and to search for items that I can resell. So my craft item, I thought about picking those up, but as you can see, the comps were not very good. So I left those behind and I did find another craft item, thankfully. But again, like I said, I found so much stuff. So there will be, I think one, maybe two additional videos of items that I purchased this same day. So those will be coming in the near future on this channel. So be sure to subscribe. I don't know what that thing was. Um, I just love digging. I'm one of those people that digs to the bottom of the bins. I like to find the small toys. Um, some of the toys that you can find at the bins I mean, they can be tiny and mighty, and I can get $15 to $20 just for a toy. So right now, I'm looking on the leg. I'm looking for the Disney Store tag. Um, I do believe that was an authentic Disney Store item, but the tag had been cut off, and she wasn't in perfect condition. So I went ahead and left her behind. All right. So we're just going to keep digging. Thank you all so much for being here. Let me know down in the comments how you found the channel. And here is going to be my first item. I couldn't pick which one to feature. Um, so it's not really a competition. So I'm just going to show you all three hats. This is going to be my accessory or thing that you wear. So that hat was there. I think they were all inside of this right here, this old vintage hat thing. So accessory you wear, I got three hats and I went ahead and listed those in my eBay store. I learned about straw hats from YouTube channel Butterfly Hustle. She is fantastic. Definitely go check her out if you don't know about her. So I've got all of these items. The screen shares that you see are my items listed in my eBay store. I do have a link to my eBay store down in the description. If you guys wanna check out what I have listed, feel free. Um, but yeah, those are listed. Uh, it's hard to, to really narrow it down and find 12 items. I know I was getting to the end and I could not find a pair of shoes. Oh my goodness, shoes. The, it, they were completely picked over. They had not brought out a new bin. I found one shoe I wanted, but I couldn't find the other one. Well, I ended up finding the other shoe in another bin and they are in excellent condition. So super excited about that. You will see that towards the end of the video. This right here, I thought about using for my weird item. I did pick that up. So you will see that one in another video, how I listed it, but it was like a, a thing to for pool. Like when you play pool to put the pool balls in. This was like a linen bag. 
I thought that might do well on Poshmark. I don't know if it was vintage or not, but one thing that I do say about Poshmark is that if you have a heavier item, it's going to be cheaper to ship it on Poshmark. So let's say you have a board game. I always recommend putting your board games on Poshmark. I feel like um, it's probably going to be $10 to $15 to ship an, a board game on eBay. And on Poshmark, you've got that flat rate shipping of what? I think it's $7.95. So that's definitely a home run there. So that's one little Poshmark tip for you. I sell on eBay, uh, Poshmark, and Mercari. eBay is my main platform. I do use List Perfectly to cross post. I start my items on eBay and then cross post to Poshmark and Mercari. Um, if you guys want to see how List Perfectly works, I do have a demo video down in the description, and you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, to get 30% off your first month if you're interested. Definitely check it out. Uh, more platforms, more eyes. That's what I always say. All right, let's see. Just digging away. Uh, it, it was kind of a slow start, so... And I cut out footage of other things that I bought, too, so um, you guys will see that again in another video. All right, uh, new old stock items or new items, I always pick them up. So this little Nerf thing, it's going to be a bread and butter, but it's in the original packaging. I can probably get something for that or put it in like a toy bundle or something like that. Vintage locks, locks and keys, some of those can do really well. Keep an eye out for those. If you see them, definitely look them up. All right. I don't know what that is. Some sort of cheap, inexpensive toy it looks like that you get maybe at the dollar store. <laughs> Lots of those, right? Okay, I feel bad because we haven't found our next item. We have only found one of 12 items. I do look in all glasses cases. Um, I have found some decent glasses in the Goodwill bins, that is for sure. Let me know in the comments, do you shop at the Goodwill bins or do you just like watching the videos? I know some people tell me that they don't have a bins near them, so they really just like to watch the videos. All right, this is my linen. Um, I don't know if I broke it or if it was already broken, but the wood that goes across the bottom was snapped. I still think I can sell it. Um, I did just create this buy one, get one 25% off coupon. And I was like, you know what? I need to teach my viewers how to create a coupon. As soon as I created it, somebody bought two items from me and used the coupon. So um, I will try to remember to link that down in the description. If you guys sell on eBay and want to know how to create a coupon, you can also create one to send to uh, your customers, people that have already bought from you. And then you can also create one to send to your followers. So it is a great way to get repeat customers. So definitely check out that video. It's something that I have put off and I decided to do it the other day. And I'm like, you know what? I'm doing this. Um, I might as well create a video because I'm guessing there's probably someone else that wants to know how to do this. And I had to kind of freshen up on how to do it because it's been a long time since I created a coupon. I, my business model for my eBay store is I start my, um, well, let me tell you about this witch first. Here's my holiday item. I've got it up for auction. It's a pantyhose art. <laughs> um, I'm guessing it's like a folk art item. I'm not 100% sure, but those are pantyhose. That's a pantyhose face, and I just had to buy that. So that's my holiday item. So what I do is when I find an item, I will price it on the higher end of solds, and then I will run a sale usually 35% off. I have been going as high as 38% off. And then I have best offer on all of my items. I do sell most of my items using the best offer option. That's either me sending offers or taking an offer that someone sends me. So these screenshots that you see that I'm popping up, that is my asking price. Um, I do entertain offers. So that is not necessarily what it's going to sell for. And some of these items are up for auction, like the witch I have up for auction. Um, and we'll just see if she sells. All right. If you guys have any questions for me, I have been a reseller on eBay since 2005. All right. This is not one of the aluminum trees. I have a really hard time saying that word. I do apologize. Um, 
the ones that uh, you're looking for that go for big money, they have a very distinct look. That was not one of them. I definitely would have bought it if it would have been. All right, they're bringing out a new cart. Um, I will show you that cart in another video. I am gonna head over to the books and see if I can find my media item. I did not find it there. I will have to come back to the books because we are back over here in this bin. All right, so this right here, I pulled this out because it said commercial and I was like, ooh, it's a commercial steamer. And it was really, really heavy. And I know at my Goodwill bins, they will work with you on heavier priced items. So don't be afraid to ask um, because by weight, that would not have been worth it. But I did not end up getting it. Comps weren't as good as I expected. This is my craft item. I think this could be like a dollhouse or even a nativity. Um, it's got, it's TLC, major TLC, but I just thought it was cute. And for a crafter, I'm like, this is gonna be my craft item. All righty. I have been picking up some life jackets. I, I do pretty good with life jackets um, that I get at the bins and they're so lightweight. So something to think about. They're probably not gonna do good right now. Here's my media item, the story of Jesus. It's a box set with a double CD there. Uh, the CDs were still attached, so I don't think it was ever used. And then I'm just kind of looking here, seeing if there's anything that may be more of a bolo than that. I thought that was pretty good, being that it was pretty much new old stock. All right, I'm looking for a clothing item. Here we go. I, my least favorite area of the bins is clothing. I don't mind the purses and the bags and the hats and stuff like that, but the clothing, oh man, it's rough. The, everybody just rushes towards it. It's always so crowded and you know, it's just not what I get excited for. So look what I found. I found a Nintendo DS sitting down in the bags. This is gonna be my toy. I could not believe it, but it powered on. I didn't even charge it, but it was kind of a hot mess. It's got some condition issues. I have no idea if it works. So I am selling that for parts or repair. I've got it up for auction starting at $19.99. This is a duck decoy. How do I know that? Um, I looked at the bottom and there was a signature on it and I was able to figure that out. If this would have had the head, I would have picked this up. Some duck decoys can be a big money bolo. Go into eBay and search solds, highest solds and put in duck decoy. It is incredible what some of them go for. All right, I'm looking for a bag. I'm looking for a bag. I got to fill that uh, scavenger hunt number, uh, bag or uh, purse. I did pick up a uh, Vera Wang bag. No, not Vera Wang, <laughs> Vera Bradley. And I was kind of excited about it because it was a big travel bag and I got it home and it was ripped. So what I did is I took the handle or the strap, not really a handle, I took the strap off and I am gonna sell that strap individually and hopefully make my money back on that item. Okay, so there is a plush unicorn right there. Do you see it? You'll see that in a future video also. Okay, get ready, you guys. Get ready for the grail. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I'm just gonna let this play. I'm digging through the plush. I love selling plush. Oh, we're getting close. Do you guys, can you guess what it is? Any guesses? Anybody know? I did pick up that horse. It's funny, I just watched Dumpster Diva's video and she found a unicorn costume. I find, I'm going to call it a grail. All right. So the definition, I wanted to make sure I was using the correct word here. The definition of grail is a thing that is eagerly pursued or sought after. And this item, I can't believe I found it. I am so excited to show you guys this. I found a grail. Okay, this is a hidden Mickey pre-Duffy 
plush. Let's talk about pricing, okay? Because things have changed a little bit. Okay, so here is my listing. I currently have it listed at $715 or best offer. Somebody else has theirs at $269.99, which they just, they're pricing it too low. Um, thankfully, somebody else has come in with one at just under $1,000. So that should help me. Um, the problem is, is that, people are pricing them too low. And I'm gonna show you why I'm saying that. So let's go over to Terapeak. And I am searching the last 365 days. And the highest sold was in 2021. I'm only searching the purple here. And it sold for $500. And let's go over to WorthPoint. This is why I absolutely love WorthPoint. So I am searching high to low. I'm only looking at the color purple, uh, pre-Duffy, hidden Mickey bears. In 2011, $1,500. 2011, $1,200. 1050 in 2011. So it looks like in 2011, these were trending big time. Um, but you can look, 850, 820, 780, 745. This one was in 21. 779 and this one was in 21 uh 819 and neither one of those showed up on Terra Peak. Um let's search by um most recent. And again, I'm only searching the purple color. So 2022 250 202 15880 160. So the market has just really gone down on these, but I really also think it's because people are underpricing them and they're not holding out for a better price. They're probably looking at the last 90 days and going off of that, they don't have worth point to see that these things were going in the thousands of dollars. But here are the most recent sold. So it looks like, yeah, 2021 for 819 is probably the most recent high dollar sold. So Again, I have mine listed at $715 or best offer. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to see if I get any bites on it. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to price it high and see how it goes. Okay, who's ready to dig some more? I am pushing that guy down in my cart and covering it up with other things because at the bins, people can take things out of your cart. It has been known to happen. At one, one point in time, somebody stole my entire cart. And the funny thing is, is they took the bolo out. I call it a bolo because it was an item that I had picked up that I knew was going to be a big money item. And they took it out and threw it to the side. And I ended up finding it. And that item, I think, is sold for... Um, $70. So I did get my item, but I lost my cart. All right, this is my item with a battery. And you know, anytime you get something from the Goodwill bins that has a battery, you take a chance of getting it home and it not working. Thankfully, that little Lion King uh, starry night light thing worked. It worked. Um, is it a big money bolo? No, but um, it fulfilled my item with a battery. So these dolls right here, typically I will pick up the American Girl dolls, um, and you do find them from time to time. I found a couple Bitty Babies. I found some Welly Wishers. This is my weird item. It is an accordion style. It uh, goes across uh, a sunshade for your car, and one side says, help, call police. Uh, you guys can see my cart right there. It is jam-packed. Again, Subscribe to the channel for more Goodwill Benz videos. I'm really trying to beef my channel up with these types of videos because they're super fun and I feel like I can keep them educational as well. So it kind of fits into my channel. I can't remember what was in there. Um, I think I threw that in my cart. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. I like to grab bags of items. Sometimes I don't even look in them. If they look like toys, I just grab the whole bag and I'll bring it home and go through it when I get home. In one video coming soon, you're gonna see a bag of hair accessories that I picked up and um, I'll go through those. Uh, I think I'm gonna put that footage where I actually go through them because I found some really nice hair accessories. This is a shark uh, 
vacuum type thing. I don't know. I decided to leave it behind. Let me know in the comments if you ever pick any vacuum cleaners up and stuff like that. Okay, this card, I was watching this back and I'm like, oh, what is it? It just seems special. And I looked it up. I can't remember what it is. It goes to some card game. It's not special. So I did not miss out on a big money bolo right there. Did that look special? Were you guys thinking that card could be special? Okay, I'm about to find my clothing item. Do you guys see it? It is right here. I think the brand is made well. I've heard uh, clothing resellers talk about this brand and they just like they get those thread up boxes and they're all excited about this brand. So I'm like, I think that's the brand. And it was a size 2X and that's my clothing item. Now I'm looking for shoes and I do find a pair of shoes and I'm really pretty excited about them. I was trying to find the other one of those uh, I just thought that was kind of funky looking and I don't know. I never found the match. So I left that one behind. I was just like, I have got to get 12 items. I am going to get every single item. I'm not leaving until I have every single item. Well, I find a pair of shoes. You just wait, just hang out with me here. I'm not a big fan of used shoes. I, I got to tell you, that's one thing that I really, really struggle with. Number one, I don't want to clean them. And man, sometimes they just really smell bad. These are my shoes. They're Toms, and I love Toms. These look like brand new. I did buy this. It's one of those turning trays. I bought this for a personal purchase because I plan on selling on whatnot eventually. Um, so I'm going to use that to display my items. Uh, we'll see. I keep saying I'm going to get on there, and I am. There's a link down below if you guys are following people on whatnot and you want to come follow Bolo Buddies. Uh, you can use that link to join, and you'll get a $10 credit to shop. It's my referral link, so that's down below in the description. Checking out the Barbies. I usually pass on those unless they are um, something special, something vintage, or they have all their clothes, and they're like a set. I don't know. You have to be careful with Barbies because a lot of them don't have much value unless you lot them up. Now, Paw Patrol, on the other hand, I will pick up every Paw Patrol I see. And they're a nice bread and butter. Sometimes I lot them. Sometimes I um, throw them in a toy lot. Sometimes I will put them with a vehicle. But if I see Paw Patrol, it's going in my cart, it, especially the figures. I don't grab every single vehicle. It depends on the vehicle. There's certain Paw Patrol vehicles that transform, and you'll want to check those because a lot of times they're not, um, they don't stay together correctly, so they end up being a womp womp when you get home. I uh, bought actually one with a figure, and it ended up being that the figure um, was a really nice bolo. I think I sold it for like 20 some dollars but the vehicle was broken, but it all worked out. Thought about getting that stapler, but decided to leave it behind. Would you guys have grabbed that stapler? Let me know in the comments if you see something that I passed by. This is Mary Inglebright. I usually pick up anything by Mary Inglebright. She does pretty well. You're gonna see um, these items in a future video, and I will talk more about those. Uh, hint, hint, definitely grab those if you see them. They are singamajigs. All right, so I still need my bag or purse, and I do find something, and I invited another YouTuber to come on and share with us how to, I hate saying this word because I never say it right, authenticate, <laughs> authenticate, I can't say it, but anyway, she's going to show us how to know if an item is real. So when I found this item, I sent her photos immediately and said, hey, is this real? And I said, will you do a quick video for my viewers so that they know how to identify if this item is in fact real or not? So stay tuned for that. I'm putting that right when I find the item. So you'll be seeing that here shortly. But yeah, right here it is. It's a purse and it is a Coach Mini Black Crossbody. And um, it's a cute little purse. It's got everything. It looks legit to me. I felt like it was legit. Um, here's the little code on the inside, and I'm going to give it over to YouTuber Rachel Strickland, who is amazing. Definitely sub her up, and she's going to tell you about this. 
Hey guys, my name is Rachel Strickland and one of my most favorite things to resell are designer bags. And I love to help you guys and empower you to be able to authenticate bags on your own. So we're going to do just a really brief coach authentication um, tutorial today. Hang tight. And if you learned something, please head over to my channel after this video of the name Rachel Strickland. Okay, so Rachel has all kinds of reseller videos, but if you're looking to figure out if things are real, here are some of the featured videos that um, she has. And she also shows you how to get a coach purse back to look in, how to restore it. So check out that video as well. Okay, here's Rachel. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks, Courtney, for giving me an opportunity to speak to your audience today about uh coach authentication. There's one thing you need to know about the consistencies in authenticating coach, and that is they are nothing if not inconsistent. Um, as soon as you get familiarized with certain things about a coach bag and what would make it an authentic bag, they go and change that. So I felt like this one is most similar to the one that Courtney found. Um, and so I want to use it to show you some things that I looked for whenever I found this one recently for just $2 because they have beautifully the C's line up there. But again, that's not always. So I was able to look at the pattern here and see that this lines up. And one thing that you want to look for on a coach bag is the side of the zipper. That is this side piece here, not the top, but the side. And you're looking for branding. Well, look, there is none. On the older coach bags, you would see a YKK branding. This is still an authentic bag. So when you see one or two details that don't quite line up, keep looking and see what else you can find. This uh, pattern is really good on this bag. Everything looks nice there. When I open up this bag, I don't see any type of a creed. Some people may walk away here, but this is what's considered a small leather good or a small accessory. And um, Coach doesn't put the creed inside of all of those bags. What you do want to look for, if you don't see the creed, you can get to know the type of fabrics that Coach uses. I could see this fabric in a photo and tell you that it's authentic. That was one way I was able to help Courtney authenticate her bag. But then something else are these tags. There are two. If you just see this one, go digging and see if you can find that one there. I'm going to go ahead and pull the lining out here. Um, you will never see, this is one thing I have consistently, I can stand by this. You will never see a signature pattern that is the C pattern monogram here um, inside and outside. If it is outside, it will not be inside. So if I'd opened this up and saw C's inside, I would be able to say that this one was fake. But it's solid, so that has that going for it. Now, this particular coach bag has the carriage logo, and um, some of them will say coach. This one says made in the Philippines. Courtney said made in China. Both are places that Coach actually does have factories, so don't allow either of them to turn you off. Even the really high quality vintage bags is rare for them to be made in America. This is what you're looking for though. This tiny little tag that could easily be cut out. This number, H2078C1869, this is the number that you're gonna be able to put into Google. Um, you can search this right away and see if this bag comes up especially I think it's um, on this particular style. Maybe it's the second set of lines that is a style number. But in any event, just type in the entire number uh, followed by the word coach into Google. And if this bag doesn't come up, you may be looking at a fake. Previously, you were able to see on a Creed below the Creed, and that is the leather uh, patch that used to be inside the bags. Um, and, it, and it still is in many, but you will see this in a lot of the modern bags. If it is a late style, you will see this tag, even in large bags. It's crazy. But on that creed, this number used to be at the very, very bottom underneath Coach's uh, guarantee uh, and, and for quality and detail. So looking for this, looking for this. It doesn't matter if it's made in China. I've seen a lot of people send me bags and say, well, Rachel, this one can't be real because it's made in China. And Coach absolutely has Chinese factories. They make bags in China. I hope this was helpful, guys. Uh, keep searching for those Coach bags. Rest assured, though, a lot of the modern Coach bags, they don't carry the same quality that the vintage ones did, they will wear out long before a vintage bag will. And because of that, you're not gonna see the same attention to detail and you're also not going to see the same return on investment. They don't have the same resale value as those vintage coach bags. Search for those vintage coach bags, get to know what a coach turn lock looks like and you'll be able to spot them from a mile away. Buy those and they could be hundreds of dollars. Something like this, probably about 20 bucks. Happy hunting. 
All right, those are my 12 items. I do do, I do do a little more digging here. And yes, I did get that do not disturb hat. Um, I am definitely gonna be listing that. I have not got it listed as of yet. It may be listed by the time I post this video, but you will see that one in another video. Again, there's two more videos, I think, from this day. I My cart was loaded to the, to the top and overflowing. Um, I love the Goodwill bins. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would love for you to subscribe. I'm not sure if that's a real coach or not. Gotta look into that one more. I did pick that one up. Um, but yeah, subscribe to the channel. I also talked about some other channels. I will link them all down below. But most importantly, head over to Dumpster Diva's channel and see if she found her 12 scavenger hunt items. I am so excited to watch her video. I am going to be heading that way as soon as the videos drop. Here's that Vera Bradley pur purse I was telling you guys about. Um, I'll pop up the screen share of how I listed the strap. I don't know how I missed this huge defect on the side. Like, I looked that thing over, but it was on the side. Totally missed it. Um, and it's kind of a heavier item, so, you know, it happens. All right, we've got just a little more footage here, but those were my 12 items. Let me know what you thought. What do you think? Which item was your favorite? I have a pretty good guess. All right, let's conclude this video. Okay, Bolo Buddies, what did you think? How did I do? I got all 12 items. Mission accomplished, which clothing, I don't do much clothing anymore. If you don't know me, I used to be a full-time clothing reseller, and now I just like clothes just are not my thing. I like hard goods and toys and vintage Christmas and check out some of my what sold videos. You'll see the types of things that I sell. I sell bread and butter items, but I also sell big money items. So I do divide those into separate category what sold videos. Uh, my channel is all about bolo items, items to be on the lookout for items. You can hopefully buy low and sell for a profit. And I would love for you to subscribe if you're new here. And if you're not new here, go check out Dumpster Diva and sub her up and see what 12 items she found. Thank you guys so much for being here. Leave me an emoji of an owl or just put the word hoot in the comments. Thanks for watching.